Okay, so when you first load up your new Unity project, you'll probably get something that looks like this. If not, your panels here might be in a slightly different position. But either way, I'm going to go to Windows, just to make sure, go to Layouts, and go to Default. This is what you should have, something that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to go through every uh, panel individually, and we're just going to talk about the interface of Unity and how to navigate it. Okay, so first of all, you'll see we've got a few interesting buttons up here. File, we can save our project, make a new project, all the basics. Edit, we can cut, copy, paste, import packages, export packages, things like that. Game objects, which is something that you'll use quite often. You can create new game objects a little bit more into that a bit later. The component, you can add components into objects, again a little bit more on that later. Window, you can add panels and things, and a few other bits and bobs, and help is all about help. So starting with the window, under panels, you'll see we have a console. Now this console is essentially where anything, like any errors or anything like that will be outputted into here. Is outputted a word? Output. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to quickly uh, create a script for the sake of this video. Uh, don't worry about um, copying this or anything. I'm just going to show you what this console actually does. Okay, so I'm quickly just going to say, um, I'm just going to quickly print uh, hello or something like that. And so when I run the game, you'll see it will print hello at the bottom. Or at least it should. Let's find out. So as you can see, it it tell you it gives you all sorts. Of, it gives you errors, warnings, and like uh, comments. It, it down here in the console, very useful. You'll be using it a lot when you're making games for bug fixes, things like that. And yeah, that's what that does. Okay, so now back under the window tab, you'll see down here we can get loads of different panels. So it's not just about so we can get the animation panel. It's not just about the primary panels. I'm not going to go through all of those, but you can find anything you need under this window panel. Anyway, under panels, I'm next going to add the game panel, which is essentially our game. So you'll see we have our scene where we can move around. This is where we can place objects. And our game panel is where we can essentially test our game or see from the perspective of our game. All right, next we've got the hierarchy. So you find that top left here by default and this is where all our objects are stored so we've got our sample scene all our camera I can right click in the hierarchy and create a new object so maybe I might add a cube and you'll see that this cube is now in our game now when we click this cube you'll see we get an inspector here with loads of properties now it may look a bit overwhelming but I'm just gonna go through the basics what we've got each individual thing here is called a component and you can add more components down here I could add maybe I could add maybe a halo if I really wanted, I could add anything. Okay, what we can also do, you'll see the transform component, every object will have one of these, unless it's an empty object. We can scale this however we like, so we can get like a rectangle here, and yeah, you can play around with this, add components and cool stuff like that. Next on our panels, we've got the um, project. So if, we, if I open up the project here, that's what is down the bottom. This allows us to organize our scene, so I can right click, create a folder, and call this maybe scripts, and then I can double click this and have all our C sharp scripts in there, and I can add another one for materials, and essentially this is where we just keep all our assets. So if I right click and hit create, you'll see we've got loads of assets we can create, we can create materials and all sorts of interesting assets to help us make our game. Now I'm not going to go over what each asset is if you want me to do that then I can I can do a video on different assets anyway, and then finally in our uh, project uh, in our panel sorry we've got scene which is as I say where we can kind of build our project okay and that's all the panels you need to know about now let me talk about actually navigating this so let's say for whatever reason uh, all of our uh, tabs we didn't have any of our tabs were open right Let's make it completely free to customize our inspector or whatever our scene. Now let's let's say that we want to add the uh, assets folder back into our project. We can hit Window, General, and we can find it under Project. You'll see we've got our assets folder. Now we can drag this around, place it wherever we want. If we move this, if we grab the actual name of this, the little project bit here, we can move it to different sides of the screen. So we can have it on the left, we can have it on the right, we can have it on the top, but I want it on the bottom, so I'm going to leave it there. And also what you can do under here, we can keep it so it's like a, 
a stack like this so it kind of stacks down or we can click these um, three dots top right and we can make it a one column layout a two column with the favorites we can kind of customize it uh, or what we could do is we can have a we can zoom in as well so if we zoom in it won't be like stacked down there will be buttons that are clickable it's up to you how you want to have that okay so now let's go windows general let's add a let's add the inspector so let's put that maybe on the right or maybe I want it on the right covering the whole thing and then I can drag it out to make more room and you can just play around with it as you want now what you can do under a window and layouts you find some default layouts here so we've got our default which is what we found at the start of the video we've got uh, the 2 by 3 which it, I find it a bit of an odd layout to be honest but some people do like it it's good for if you're um, doing iterative testing right next up we've got the full split which is a bit more odd if you ask me but essentially what we've got is we've got the um, editor from three different angles and then no four different angles sorry then we've got our project, our hierarchy, our inspector. So this is good just to edit from every perspective. Next up on our layouts, we've got the default. We've already done that. Uh, we've got the tool layout, which isn't too bad. It's kind of a big uh, scene with all your other stuff kind of on the right side. And we've also got the wide, which is similar to what I had earlier, except the hierarchy is on the bottom. And it just allows for some more width here. Now my personal favourite is the default. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll have my game uh, project here. Um, next to this if I'm trying to iter iteratively test. But other than that I mainly just have the default. And that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to cover today. So if you found this video helpful please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one everyone. Goodbye.